He's cute. You think everybody's cute? Hey, watch where you're going, little guy. Sorry, man, I didn't see you. Where are you from? You talk funny. I talk funny? Mm hmm. You should hear you from my end. What's up, man? I'm Willard. I'm Ren. I'm McCormick. Well, it's a new take on the beloved 1984 classic film Footloose about a guy from Boston who moves to a small southern town where he experiences a heavy dose of culture shock. Footloose originally starred Kevin Bacon. The actor playing his uh, role in this version is joining us. Uh, Kenny, is it Wormald? Yes, sir. Good job. Yes. And writer, director, <laughs> Craig Brewer. Hi, guys. Hi. How's it going? Nice to see you. So, Footloose, what, what, is, what was it like to take on a classic movie like this as the writer, incorporate some of the favorites, and update it? Uh, it was pretty daunting. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I won't lie because it's a, it's a special movie to a lot of people. But luckily, it was a it was a special movie to me. I saw it when I was thirteen, and uh, it, it was like a musical, but it wasn't really a musical. Like right. no one was singing, and, right? And no one was really dancing in unison. You know, there was a certain uh, organic energy. It felt real to me. So it informed a lot of the movies that I've made. It, uh, Hustle and Flow and Black Snake Moan have this certain musical feel to it. So when they they approached me to do it, I, I actually. I, I think I found a way to make it relevant, and and we're really excited about it. We're 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 relieved that it's it's working with audiences because it's a it's a daunting project. I bet it is, Kenny. You uh, now you you really started as a dancer, right? I mean, you are a dancer. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's and correct. I would think a trying to find this guy's role must have been tough too. Because yeah. uh, I I remember when you were casting for this. I mean, you were looking for people just to send in videos of them yeah. dancing. And it was a global search. Yeah, right? yeah. Australia, I, London, all around the world. I remember that. So, yeah. so <laughs> but Kenny, when did you decide we were going to? Move a little bit from dancing to acting. Um, you know, I just heard about the audition, and before there were some other actors and another director on board, and I was jealous. I was like, "Oh, these guys get to do that." Ren McCormick, I want to do that. Right. And so when the audition came around, I just you know went full fledged, and I was working with my acting coaches and stuff. So I knew if I got my acting up to par with my dancing, then I have a really great shot. And uh, luckily, this guy picked me. Now you, now you've done. Uh, I know you've done music videos, um, Madonna and Nelly Furtado, mm -hmm. and um, uh, Big Chris Brown. Yep. And then you've been on tour too. And I mean, anybody that goes to concerts here in Detroit knows, well, you know, when Katy Perry or Justin Timberlake come to town, yeah. the dancers are just as exhausting up there as the singer. And, and you, you did a lot of that. Yeah, I actually toured with Justin for a while, and uh, it was an amazing experience. It was kind of my goal as a dancer. Uh, but it's definitely grueling. It's a it's yeah. a fun process and it's tough. But you know you get to travel the world and you know make a living doing something you love. So it doesn't really feel like work. So let me ask you guys this: What do you say to the person watching this interview that goes, "They've redone a lot of my favorite movies and hated them." How do how do you tell them that this one is different? That this is really this is an updated, fun, great version. Well, I, I would first say that usually when studios are afraid that they've made a bad movie, they don't like to show it to you. Until right. Like, <laughs> they don't even like to show it to critics yeah. until, until like a day or two before. But uh, every audience that we've shown it to, we're changing people's minds because we made it for fans. No one's a bigger, I call myself a footloosologist. Like, I, I love the original. And we really made it to be uh, respectful to the spirit of the original. And so we're, we're going around the world right now and we're showing the movie uh, uh, close to five weeks before it even opens, which is kind of unheard of. Right. Yeah. Because so we, we're very proud of it. Like we we, we, we encourage people to come out and, and even the naysayers because we really made a we made a good movie. And the original writer Dean Pitchford watched our, our version and absolutely loved it and was tearing up and yeah. revisited really? all the emotions from the original. So if that guy likes it Everyone's going to like it. So, Kenny, let me ask you this. Are you ready for what potentially is to come for you? Because uh, I could sit here and say yes, but that would be a lie. I have no clue. So I'm just on board for this journey, and I'm uh, you know, very excited. That's exciting. Yeah. All right. Very good. And you guys are in town for a special reason today, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're actually judging a dance contest later today. Fantastic. At the festival, oh, yeah. The information is right there on the screen. Of course, it's happening at Arts, Beats, and Eats today in Royal Oak. Uh, Royal Oak Music Theater, actually. So registration is at 2, and the contest is 3 to 4, and there'll be an autograph session afterwards to meet these guys. That'll be fun. So all that information is up on our website, myfoxdetroit.com. Guys, thank you so much for being here today. Well, thank I you. I can't wait to see the movie. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. We want you to see it. That, I can see that Footloose for you is my Superman, my Richard Donner Superman. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, you, you, you're passionate about it. I'm very passionate if about it. If I was a movie maker, I'd find a way. All right. Good seeing you guys. <laughs> Thanks Thank a lot. You. All right.